Good morning. Welcome back to Monster Angling. My name is Paul Brace, and thank you guys so much for clicking on this video as always. I am up at Tobin Lake, Saskatchewan right now. Uh, Jeff and I came up here this morning, got up nice and early, did the road trip, and we're out here. It's about 10 o'clock-ish in the morning. Uh, we just launched Jeff into the water. I just drove his truck and parked it here. But um, yeah, we're going, we're doing some walleye fishing today. Now, the goal is this trip is one, either Jeff or I to catch one big walleye. Then after that is obviously to catch more big walleye. And then after that, we might go do some pike fishing, but it's been a little bit slow-ish, I think, just from hearing uh, what some of the locals are saying, but I'm pretty confident we're gonna find some fish. So it should be a good trip. Staying at the Real Amin cabins, which we stayed at last year, if you don't remember, my video from last year. I'm gonna kind of show you guys the whole layout of the cabin and all that, but right now, we're gonna get to fishing. I am freaking jacked to be back at Tobin Lake, Saskatchewan. Let's go get in the boat and uh, catch a big, fat walleye. Let's go. There he is. We're gonna get in, do some jigging today, do some windy rigging. Just pumped to be back out here. All right, guys, we're in the boat here now. We're gonna rip down the river here and hopefully get into some fish. Jeff's hooked up here, ladies and gentlemen. It's just a minnow. Yeah. It's an icebreaker. <laughs> it's the little guy. It's been a little bit slow here, guys, so far. We've seen some cool, some big uh, fish on the graph. We just went over a sturgeon not too long ago. The big one on the bottom right there. All right, guys, Jeff's hooked up again. Better fish, I wouldn't say it's a giant. I better get the net. The net's right here. Oh, you're good? Okay. Oh, yeah. Guys, it's been a little bit slow here, but we've had a couple bites, and Jeff's hooked into our first good fish of the day. Stay on the bottom. Yeah. Sorry, we're just being a bit quiet here. There's just a bunch of people fishing around us, but he's looking big, but like Jeff said, he's also fighting on a light action rod. So it's bone test. Yeah. Here's, here's the here's the leader. There he is. Get him out of the net here. Right in that tough spot. Easy does her, I'm gonna let you go. There he is, first good fish of the day. A lot better than the first one. <laughs> we'll give him a quick measurement here and yeah. we'll put him back in the lake. 23. 23 and a half, 23 and three quarter. Yep, that's a good fish. Back he goes. Awesome job, buddy. Ready? Yeah. There he goes. Well guys, it's been a little while since I've talked to the camera. It's been, fishing's been pretty slow, but uh, our buddies out here been fishing me. We're kind of been fishing two separate places, but they actually hooked into a, a big sturgeon. So we're just going over there right now to check it out and get a little bit of video, but this is a big sturgeon. Like, six footer. Yeah, it looks like six feet, just judging by the jump it made. Darren, there's only three feet of water right here. You better go out with. Ever caught a sturgeon before? This is the biggest fish he's ever caught. Well, he's not in the boat yet. No. <laughs> that was a big tail. That's a big fish. Is that an ugly stick? No. That's 60 plus for sure. Watch that trolling motor. Giant sturgeon on a freaking leech. Grab by the tail. <laughs> You're not gonna get him in that net. That's a hundred pound fish, man. This fish we're guessing is probably pushing 100 pounds. Like it's a freaking, it's a monster, like not even just a big one. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna put a rope around its tail and then uh, that way we'll be able to land this fish, get the hook out, put it back. 
Okay, now if you really if you're really tough you can lift them in the boat. <laughs> oh that's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Yeah, pick that rope. Get a picture. <laughs> There he goes. <laughs> well guys, we are cleaning up here. We're taking the boat out of the water. It was a bit of a slow day today. Our initial plan was to go farther onto the lake, but it all of a sudden got really windy and we really couldn't get to the spot that we wanted to get to. So we got to see the biggest sturgeon that I have ever seen in my life. Take some guesses in the comment section down below on what that thing weighed, because I honestly have no idea. It was a freaking tank though, like absolutely unreal. But anyway, we're gonna get the boat out of the water. We're gonna get rigged up for tomorrow, hit the sack early tonight, and then uh, be up for uh, prime time in the morning. Canadian net job. Oh, that's a big slogger. You better measure that one. That's Guys, it's my first fish of the trip. Sauger. I don't think he's quite a master. It has to be 18. 17 and a half. Close. That's a big sauger. There he is, guys. First fish of the trip for me. Big sauger. Bye bye. Just using a uh, Acme Google Eye jig and a minnow. Simple presentation. Looks like Paul's got a pike on. Guys, I hooked up with a pike here. This thing ate it in the middle of the water column. Caught on my heavier St. Croix, so I guess that's that's good at least. Just gonna work it nice and slow here. You gotta bring them around this side. Okay. Probably better. Barbless hook, so I want to keep the tension here. It's a pretty good pike, though, I think. I think he ate it without the freaking minnow on there too, because he hit it one time. This might be a while, guys. Oh, that's a big pike. Did you see him? Big old Johnny. Hey, he's got to be 40 inches, eh? Oh, yeah. Good thing I brought the big net. Good thing I brought the big net. Dude, that's a big get pike. Get the look out of them first. Yeah, flip my bail here. All right, guys, I'm just gonna get this hook out here. I don't know if he's 40 inch, but he's a good one. Real nice color. Yeah. Don't wanna wreck my jig here. There he is, guys. Can you back up a bit there, buddy? Yeah. I don't know if he's a 40 incher, but that's a good pike. That's a good one. We're gonna get him on the bump board right now because it's ready to go here. Yeah, 40 inches. 
right on the nose. That's got a nice that? fish there, buddy. Yeah, so I'll show the GoPro here. Show the GoPro there. That's the pike. Show the big camera. You can take a screenshot of that. And we're gonna release them. He'll go. Oh, there he goes. Well guys, that wasn't the monster wall I were after, but I'll take it. That is a very, very nice pike. 40 inches. Barely was hooked even, like you guys saw that barbless hook fell right out when I took the slack off. Guys, Jeff's hooked up here. First fish of the day. It's a big pike, I think. Just stared him down on the graph. It's a big fish. It's a lighter rod than mine, eh? I only got six pound test on here. Yeah. What do you think? Well, I'd like to get him away from the sun so you can video a little better. Ah, uh, it's okay. He's gonna go where he wants to go because I'm out battled with my little light, light setup here. Okay, I'm gonna net this fish. There nice you go. Nice job, buddy. Take eyes off that. Yeah, he's not as big, but it's still a decent pike. Well, guys, it's been a little bit slow this morning. We haven't caught a ton of fish, but we've got two pretty good pike today. I don't know if this one's as big, but it's still a good fish. Like, all right, there he is. Not nice quite, one. not quite as big, but it's. I'm gonna say he's about 35. Yep, I'd say so. I'd say it's a good guesstimate. 34. 34 and a quarter. There he goes. fish everywhere they just don't want to bite like they're everywhere Look. just like waves down there I don't understand <sighs> I'm gonna start with about 180 feet Let's go on. Yeah, it's a fish. That didn't take long. No. I had my camera running too. Guys, we've been fishing for a while here. Lindy rigging hasn't been working and we decided to switch to some trolling and not even five minutes in here, Jeff's hooked up with something. Now the qu question is, is it big? You can only hold. <laughs> I doubt it's tiny if it hit the crank. 180 feet of lino. Wow. What color do you got on? I got purple bass and oh, there he's starting to fight. This might be a good one. Okay, the net's ready. It has literally been so crazy here, guys. Like, we've been marking a ton of fish and literally nothing wants to bite. Oh, it's a jackfish. Is it? It's a pike. It's a good one. It's a pike here. I thought, just because of how he acted when he first bit. <laughs> well, he's in the net. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to film there in net at the same time. That's a big pike. Yeah, but look at the mess. Watch your fingers. Okay, I'll get this one first. Yeah, now I'll get that one. Okay, folks, so okay. we'll get this on camera here quickly and then we'll put it back. All right, guys, there he is. Pike. 39. 39. Big head. Now you can go back. Well guys, we just released that pike not too long ago. It was, what was it, 39? Yeah, 30, just over 39. We changed it to uh, crank in here just because we were lindy rigging. We lindy rigged for probably about, 
hour and a half, two hours, no bites, or a couple bites, no fish. And then we decided to do some trolling. And we're using some of Jeff's trolling gear here with the big uh, trolling reels. All right guys, day three, it's our last day here. Um, we're going out now, it's a freaking cool morning. It's about zero degrees out right now. So as you can see, I'm fully dressed up and I actually forgot my bibs, like my ski pants basically. I was gonna bring them, but Jeff had an extra pair of neon pants. Yeah, we are gonna go try again last day. Um, the last couple days of fishing. I've just been really slow for the walleyes. We've got a couple really good pike yesterday. Um, and then the sturgeon is really cool. And all we need now is a big walleye. So we're gonna give it our last, all of our effort today. And uh, hopefully we can make something happen. All right, we just launched the boat here at the boat launch. And uh, yeah, I'm just walking down the hill once again to meet Jeff at the ramp, or at the uh, dock, sorry. But it is definitely the coldest of the mornings. But maybe that's not a bad thing, I don't know. Um, the fishing has been shut off. And today, it's not as windy. So taking off sometime today. So we're gonna start in the river and then work our way out there probably. It really depends on how the fishing goes and what we feel like doing. Cause we do have to drive home tonight too, so. All right guys, we're out here. It was a chilly ride this morning, but we dressed just warm this morning. And hopefully the fish are biting. But I haven't really talked a lot about my gear I've been using this trip, but I got my uh, 6.6 St. Croix Icon. It is a medium power, um, pretty fast tip, so it's good for jigging and then Jeff's running a little bit lighter of a setup, but and then I got 10 pound braid on here and I'm running about a maybe four foot lead of eight pound uh, fluoro. And then an Acme Google Eye jig. The rattles in there seem to really help. <clears throat> and then I'm tipping that all with a minnow. And I mean, we haven't had a lot of success jigging this trip, but maybe this cold weather will turn them on. There's a lot of fish down there right now. Catch them. That's the plan. Check my drag. It's pretty good. Oh. Guys, I'm hooked up here. Maybe you haven't seen that one on the sonar. Nope. It's a pike. I assume. <laughs> I bite them pretty slow this morning, so feels good to have some love. Just wait. I hope he's 30 pounds. Oh, that's a monster. It's a big that's pike. The same one as yesterday, maybe. Uh, don't, don't pull too hard as. Let, 
because the, the hook's not in them very good. Oh yeah, well it is, but it's in them too good. <laughs> remember, watch this. Battle. That's a big pike. All right, guys. We broken off, or Jeff broke off a pike earlier this morning. And then, oh, I should have never got this fish in. Look where that hook is. Pliers are right behind you there. Okay. Uh. Okay, there's the hook out. Pull them in here, pull them up, and we'll go. Oh. All right, there he is. Dandy. We'll, we'll, have, to, we'll have to look at pictures to see if it's the same one as yesterday, but. I'm just gonna <laughs> get the bump board going here. Yeah. That, guys, that is freaking awesome. I mean, this was a walleye trip, but considering the walleyes are not biting, that's a pretty good substitute. He is. 37 and three quarters. He's a lot fatter than the one I caught yesterday though. There he is. Dandy. One more look at him. Let him go. Uh, this side of the boat works. Sure. It's nice it's out of the sun here. That's what I was thinking. Get the rod out of the way here. Sorry, I'll try to hold them out a bit more for you. That's a good release. Awesome fish. So, we've been trying to jig up wall some walleyes this morning and it just hasn't been working out, but we've marked a couple big pike on the live scope. And that one I didn't even mark and he just came and crushed it. So. It was just caught on a little jig, just like the one yesterday. I'm surprised it didn't even break off because that thing was down as trap, but we're gonna keep going here and maybe catch a big walleye, maybe another big pike, who knows. Fish on guys. Sauger. That's a walleye. That's a walleye. No, it's a sauger. Is it? Smaller than my one yesterday, probably. There he is, guys. Right there. He's a little sogger. But, fought pretty hard. Ah, there he goes. Guys, Jeff's hooked up here. Is it a walleye? Nice big one, nice big one. Okay. Watch your rod on that net. Big sogger. Big sogger. Big sogger. That's a really, that's for a sauger, that's big. Guys, it's been a while since we've caught a fish, but Jeff just caught a giant sauger. He tagged one too. Um, is there a number on there? There will be, yep. Yeah. Let's yeah. just give him a measurement here. Yeah, this is a master angler sauger too. As far as saugers go, that's big. It's 22 inches. Jeez. All right guys, we're going for the release here on this giant sauger. 22 inch sauger, that's a big sauger. Biggest one I've ever seen. Thought it was a pike. There he goes. Bit it twice. <laughs> well, the first time Jeff hooked into that one, came off, and he thought it was a pike, and then I came back and bit again, and it was a big old dogger. Anyway, we're gonna keep fishing here. I actually put on a bottom rig since. I've seen you guys last. I put on a minnow. I'm thinking maybe you might catch a sturgeon, might catch a sucker, might catch a walleye on the bottom, but might have to go back to jigging here in a bit. But for now, I'm gonna keep this on and uh, hopefully we can get some more fish. Yeah, there he is. Nice sucker though. So it's not biting down there. <laughs> there 
I'll be a sucker. <laughs> yeah. Here. <laughs> Here, I can just deal with them. All right, guys, there he is. White sucker. Last one we caught was a silver red horse. Put this guy back here. Freaking clobbered it. All right, guys, that's a wrap on our trip to Tobin Lake here. Uh, the weather was actually pretty beautiful today. It was cold this morning, but it turned out to be a pretty awesome day. We didn't get the big walleye that we were hoping for, but we did catch some pretty big pike. We saw, I saw the biggest sturgeon I've ever seen. Uh, we caught a big sauger, which was tagged, which is kind of cool. We're gonna actually, how do you do that? You, you report it, eh? Yeah, we're gonna report it. Yeah. And see what they tell us. Tell them where we caught it, we released it. Tell them how long it was, all that good stuff. Yeah, exactly. So that fish was probably caught in one of the tournaments here, uh, most likely. Uh, they do some tagging programs here during the tournaments, but uh, we'll be definitely back here to do some more walleye fishing probably next year, uh, maybe even in the winter time. But uh, yeah, it was just a great trip, get, good to get away, and uh, like I said, we still got some pretty incredible fish. So we're going to start the road trip home, and then uh, I'll see you guys on the road or at home. Let's go. Well guys, we made it back home in one piece. It's been a couple days since we got back. I actually just finished editing the video. But uh, yeah, we had a great time up there at Tobin Lake. Have you ever been on a trip before where you basically, you go targeting a certain species of fish and it turns out that you end up catching something completely different that you had no idea that you are gonna catch? That is exactly what happened with that big sturgeon and the big pike that we got this trip. It was a walleye trip, plain and simple. It didn't pan out, obviously. Um, but it was pretty cool being able to see the sturgeon, which is the biggest sturgeon I've ever seen, and the big pike. I want to clear a couple things up about the sturgeon so you guys don't get mad, so there's no confusion about it. Some people might get mad about the whole rope thing around the tail. What that rope did is basically gave us something to grab onto, if that makes any sense. Considering what happened that that fish was caught on walleye gear and literally we were not targeting that fish it was handled the best that we could have and i know i might get some hate people saying oh well you should have went to shore the problem with there is that we would have had a better chance at snapping that fish off on the rocks near shore and possibly leaving a hook in that fish's mouth opposed to doing what we did, get that hook out and put it back in 30 seconds. And I think that was the best alternative, but you're never really prepared for a hundred pound plus fish to be coming in your boat. And that's kind of why that all happened. But I think overall it was handled properly. Um, and I'm just glad to see that that big, fit, that big prehistoric fish kicked off healthy. Regardless guys, it was a great trip. We stayed at the real in cabins, like I told you guys at the start of the video, they are beautiful cabins. Everything you'd need for a fishing trip. Another nice thing about staying at the real in cabins is the fact that Twin Marina is actually located like five minutes away and they keep their docks in till like mid-November. So it's another thing to consider if you're going up there. Um, it's nice just because quick access to the lake. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this longer video. Um, I really appreciate all the support on the channel. I will try to get a couple more open water videos out for you guys before freeze up. Make sure to go check out my socials um, in the description below. Make sure to subscribe if you're not. I would really appreciate it. And stay tuned for the next fishing adventure. Take care guys.